Utah doctors this week used a newly developed wand to operate on a patient instead of a scalpel. Yeah, this remarkable instrument cauterizes as it goes and produces no damage to adjoining tissue. Ed Yates reports from the University of Utah's medical campus. For the first time here at the university's neurosciences center, surgeons have used a novel new cutting tool that is a far cry from the conventional scalpel. Neurosurgeon Joel McDonald, who's worked with the inventor of the device almost from the beginning, used the revolutionary ferromagnetic wand, as it's called, on the first human, in this case, a patient who needed spinal surgery. These are areas where you need a lot of precision and a lot of dexterity to the instrument, and you don't want a lot of heat spreading in untoward uh, directions. Unlike current electrosurgical tools, the paper clip-like tip on the end of the wand is coated with a special alloy that creates a magnetic field. The tool produces a pure heat that instantly turns on and off at the surgeon's command. In this demo on grocery chicken meat, no electricity passes through the body. The device cauterizes as it cuts and prevents bleeding. That's what Dr. Kim Manwaring wanted when he first kicked around the idea. I met Dr. Manwaring in a garage where he showed me a ham radio with a small piece of wire and he showed me how we could heat that piece of wire and we talked together about the potential applications for that technology. From a garage to a basement to what is now domain surgical, the wand has its roots here in Utah. Now with FDA approval, it's being used on the first human patient. What Dr. Manwaring envisioned has become a reality. Well, the ideal combination is a incision that is a pure searing or sealing of the margin with no bleeding, and yet right beneath that sear is perfectly viable healthy tissue. Reduced time in surgery, lower risk for patients, less scarring, and faster healing and recovery. The wand easily cuts like a scalpel, or with a change of the tip, scoops out tumors or unwanted tissue. It senses automatically how it's being used, and even uses flash heating for self-cleaning. This is the key goal. Uh, the, the surgeon is there to solve a problem and leave the least evidence that he was ever there. Surgeons like McDonald say they're optimistic. They like the wand's feel and versatility and its potential for all kinds of applications. Ed Yates, KSL News, Salt Lake City.